My daughter, write these words down for the people of America. Children, the time is upon you that I call each and every one of you to repent now. So many of you are about to have your last day on earth, and if you die in your unrepentant state, there will be no salvation. I have continually called and warned through my true prophets, watchmen, messengers, yet you continually run back to believing the lies. Here is truth. America will never be great again and is about to fall. Destruction is imminent. Saturn is the god of this world, as he was given this by me. As he beguiled Eve in the garden, he has deceived millions into believing he does not exist. So if he does not exist, then you believe the lie that there is no hell. Next night he told, all good people go to heaven without ever repenting to me. Where in my word does it say, all good people go to heaven? Truth, hell is as real as I am, is the one true living God. Lucifer is not me, God, and I am not Lucifer. He is an imposter. He has poisoned the minds of so many into thinking I am is the enemy, and that he is your father of lights. Truth, Satan tells you that you will be gods. He has lured you into all the deceptions because your children follow the lusts of this world. He promises you the best jobs, fame, fortune, and he will give you what you want. But your soul will lie in the depths of hell, tormented forever by him and his fallen ones. He is a con man, a murderer, and so many have fallen for his lies. I have given you truth, children, and you are choosing to reject it. The one saved, always saved. The prosperity gospel. The leave as the wilt. The mix of all false religions being accepted into my kingdom are all not of me. There are millions of gods people are following. And if you are one who follows Buddhism, Hinduism, Islam, Satanism, Dominionism, New Age, Catholicism, and all the daughters that sprang from her, yoga masters, mysticism, and the multitudes thereof, the you are chasing after false gods, and you will not inherit everlasting life unless you come out from under this idolatry now and repent. There are not many paths to me. There is only one, and it is through my son Yahushua, whose flesh was torn from his body, yet he was sinless. He bore the stripes for you. He endured the pain. He was crucified on that tree for you. There was none other. My son paid the price and made a way for you. What have these false gods you follow done for you? Did any of them suffer and die for you? No, 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 I say. So why do you follow after them? Can a priest save you? Can the Pope, the first prophet, save you? Can Buddha? Can Shiva? No, 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 I say. Man cannot save anyone. Statues cannot save you. Allah cannot save you. Buddha cannot save you. Spiritualism, a new age, you must remove yourselves from. There is only one who can save you. The rest are all false religions and practices put in place by the master of deception, Saturn himself. He has set up his kingdom here on earth. 
for the sole purpose of taking millions upon millions of souls to hell. He hates you, children. I am his your creator, and he hates my creation. His main goal is to steal, kill, and destroy. You ask, so why would you allow Satan to have dominion on earth? Children, I have explained over and over that life here is a testing ground. Trials and tribulations, I said, would come. As I state in John 16, 33, I have overcome the world, so you are to also. You must be overcomers. As I suffered for all mankind, you would suffer in order to go from corruptible to incorruptible. My ways are not your ways, but I test the hearts of man. You see, children, how many of you profess my name, but as soon as trouble comes your way, or any type of persecution for following me, you fall away from pressing forward, from reaching for the price, you give up too easily. I test you, children, to see how many of you were willing to lose it all to gain your soul. How many of you were willing to walk in obedience and follow my commands. How many instead are walking their own way, the way that will take you to your demise. How many children have shown their love for me you say you love me, yet you do not do what I say. You say you believe, yet I have sent out words of truth for years, and you are still in denial, still in unbelief. You mock me by mocking those I have sent to you. I hate abominations, yet most embrace them. I hate sin, but most have no desire to change. No desire to resist temptation, to stop sinning. Enticed by the broad road that leads straight to hell. How many say, I have the Holy Spirit in me, yet are still the old man. You cannot put old wine into new wineskins. How many of you are the new man? Where is the evidence? If you are still doing and living the same as you did for years, when you first said you received the baptism of my spirit, then you need to re-examine yourselves. My spirit cannot remain in one who lives in habitual sin willingly. Many started out of the gates zealously, but soon after, you are lured right back into the ways and lusts of this world. You are willfully sinning against me. How many say they are saved, yet you live with someone outside of marriage and are in fornication? How many are in adultery? How many say my commandments changed to justify your lifestyles? My children, my people of America, I take all this very seriously. And these are all grievances against me. Your iniquities find you out. You will not be able to make excuses and plead your case before me when you stand before me. I see how double-minded you are. I see how you lie even to yourselves, that how you live is fine in my eyes. No, it is not fine. All will be judged by how they lived. Did you live for me or for yourselves? Your deeds speak for themselves. How many have denied themselves and picked up their cross to follow me? Are you prepared to meet your maker? All those who are unrepentant will not enter in. I am a forgiving God, but you must come out of your lies you told yourselves. Believing you repented once, and all is well. Repentance is ongoing. In life you err. 
your tongue, the smallest member, speaks life or death. Have you forgiven others? Do you speak curses over others? Do you exhort your brothers or sisters or slander them? I have now put everything out so that you will take one last long hard look at your lives, how you live, how you speak to others, of how you sin against me. It is imperative you get your heart right with me. I wish none of you perish, but if you refuse to believe what I have said, if you continue in rebellion, you will perish. You are handing your soul willingly to Satan at that point. So many tears shed. My sadness is great. I want to save you. You must let go of your pride, your rebellion, and admit you are in need of a savior. Repentance is the only way. No sin is too great that I cannot forgive. There is only one unpardonable sin, and it is if you blaspheme my Holy Spirit. Take these words I gave my daughter to write of utmost importance. Your time on earth is shorter than you know. There is only one way, and has always been one way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Deny me, and I will deny you before my Father. Repent with a contrite spirit, and I will welcome you in. Which will it be, heaven or hell, my kingdom or his? I warn, I warn, I warn. Repent, repent, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Tick tock, my father and I have spoken.